Eliminator 3000 watt inverter, low test. Vehicle running, uh, three deep cycle AGM batteries. I have uh, multiple strands of four gauge and two gauge wire running into the back to get uh, the current I need to this inverter. We're gonna try running this 1500 watt heater, this 1500 watt heater, and this about 500 watt uh, uh, halogen light. We're gonna start with the center one. There we go. Plug her in. We're gonna start watching the watts climb. It starts off, starts off low, and then climbs up to 1500. I don't know how accurate this kilowatt thing is, or, but uh, we're going to find out. <coughs> then we'll do this uh, heater next, and see where we're at, and then we'll plug the light in. Pick up a notch. Start draining more power. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and pump the other uh, heater in now. There we go. It's uh, pretty crazy. Okay, 2,600. 2,700 watts. And now we got the light and all three heat. Everything here is plugged in. What do we got here? This is with the vehicle running and everything. Uh oh, we got low power happening here. We get the alarm on, but it's still working just fine. Pumping out the heat, man. Oh, so. Alright, let's unplug something. Uh, let's go with the light. <coughs> well, it looks to me as though uh, you can actually do 3000 watts with uh, enough power running into it. Even with all these batteries, and I got probably, I think I have uh, about four. Four gauge wires running into the back and two two gauge wires running into the back and I think I could probably use another set of two gauge wire but uh, yeah still works nicely.